You guys are doing great. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Craft the World, a game about dwarves who are crafting their world. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the uh, campaign mode, I do believe. Bunch of empty slots here. Uh, I deleted the game that I did on the stream way back when, and uh, yeah, we'll start a new campaign. Everything else seems to be locked except for the first level, but I'm rather curious about uh, what awaits us if we get a little further. We'll see how it goes, that is for surely. This game has a large emphasis on um, tech trees and things like that. So uh, my first little guy's here. Welcome to the world, little man. And I'm gonna have him uh, chop down some trees. We only have enough power to send one dwarf. That's unfortunate. Look around and start building your outpost. No one knows how dangerous it might be in this place. Open your journal to see the instructions we prepared for you. Great job, now wait for the resources to be carried to a stockpile. Hooray! And I think I just got an axe? No. Maybe I unlocked the axe. So I'll have to uh, wait for him to carry these stones back and then I can craft an axe for my little fellow. I really like dwarves. The mythology of dwarves is uh, really, really fucking cool. Oh look, and there's a bird. He looks rather angry. Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Does he have bat wings? No, they're feathers. I guess he's flying off to the, the island of pigs. Oh, there's a bunch of sheep over here, too. Hmm. That could be interesting. I think I should uh, probably flatten this out as much as I can, and uh, we're gonna need a home pretty shortly as well for my little dwarves, because uh, enemies come at night, as would be expected in a game like this. Um, and the quicker I craft some things, the quicker I can unlock more stuff. We now have resources to build some necessary tools. Open the workshop dialog by pressing the craft button. Yes, I shall do just that. And, uh, this is my workshop, where I can craft various tools and items. Alright, let's craft some, some things for the dwarves, yes. I will do just that. Um, I guess an axe is a good thing to start with. We don't have enough stone quite yet. But we do have enough wood to craft a little club, so uh, I guess I'm going to do that first. Hooray! And I unlocked an additional dwarf along with a totem. So the totem is used to uh, set your house wherever that might be. And uh, what's this guy's name? Drong. Drong the Dwarf! Hooray, now he's got a little friend to help him. So uh, we're doubling our, our production value. That's quite nice. I'm uh, curious about how I can flatten this out. It seems like a rather rather uh, mountainous region, indeed. I don't want to settle too far from the shop or from the stockpile, so I'm going to try and find a happy medium between those two, and uh, hopefully it'll go just fine. Maybe I should flatten all this out. Mm. But if you give the dwarves too many instructions, they get a little confused at times, so uh, it's a good thing to just one at a time. One at a time. We'll do it. We'll do it right up. Um, and then, do I have anything else? No, I don't. Can't do nothing. Just sit here and watch the fucking dwarves do their thing. Good job, little dwarves. We're so proud of you. Now they're going to uh, climb up and chop down those trees. Oh no, they're going to collect some more shit. That's fine. Who, who's my new dwarf? Feely. Oh, <gasps> Feely and Keely! Oh my god. It's uh, Lord of the Rings reference. Who would have expected that? Definitely not me. Alright, so get to chopping. We'll get to chopping some more trees here. And uh, I guess I'll dig out some stone as well. Uh-oh. We've got a, a mite. What is it, a tick? Something like that. They're uh, not doing a great job chopping down the trees with the, uh, the little stone knives that they have. Eventually I hope to give everybody some axes and some pickaxes. And we'll, uh, we'll be happy little fellows. I really like Feely. I, <laughs> I think that's fucking cool. That he's named after a Lord of the Rings fella. And I hope he doesn't die. That would make me quite sad. So, uh, now we've got that all worked out. I don't really want to get rid of all of this because I would like to be able to fish at some point. But, uh, oh my god, this tree grew back as well. Like, almost immediately. That sucks! And, uh, we've got some water here, so that's, uh, not gonna be good. I'm not gonna be able to dig out these stones quite yet. 
I'll have to wait for the water to go away or find a way to to remove it. Right now they're just uh, collecting all kinds of shit. Which, I need stones. I don't have hardly any stones. I do have a few. Alright, so we will craft uh, a pickaxe. Or two pickaxes, I do suppose. And hopefully uh, that'll speed up the digging process just a little bit. Boom, boom. A couple pickaxes. Here you go, Feely. Here you are, Mr. Drong. Thank you so much. And now they can do some uh, decent digging. That should help just a little bit. And I don't understand why I can't chop this tree down. Please, do what I need. Hmm, quite difficult, yes. And, uh, we've also got some, some wheat growing here. There's lots of different stuff that you can do in this game. Um, you'll find different skill books. People can become, like, millers, and you can kind of specialize your dwarves, which I think is a really, really cool thing. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this tree, and then if I chop all of this, then we might be able to uh, thin the water out just a little bit. At least enough that I can dig down and get some more stone. Because stone is uh, an important thing. I also like dirt. Dirt is quite good. Um, and I got a spell too, so I will place my portal spell here. I only have nine mana at the moment, but that is relatively okay. Totem? Hmm, don't know how to make a totem. We can make a hatch, we can make a ladder. I'll make a couple ladders, help them get up and down that, uh, that little bitty a little bit faster. Hey! And, uh, I unlocked some things. Here's the tech tree. Uh, we got up to basic armor now. I'll need to do some illuminating, uh, so we can get iron working, and that will lead to construction. Um, but armor's a good thing. We'll need to, uh, kill some sheeps in order to get wool to make the ropes. And, um, I think that'll come in quite handy, yes. This water is, uh, perturbing me just a little bit. I'm going to set up a portal over here so they can go quickly. Quickly in and out of the, uh, of the portal. We'll get back and forth. How's that? Y'all doing good? Y'all doing good? Yay, dig a tunnel. Many minerals are deep underground. Mark a downward sequence of blocks to dig a tunnel. Well, it's not much of a tunnel, is it? But it'll do for now. And they're all, like, levitating on the fucking... Yeah, that's kind of weird. I'll probably need uh, a couple of ladders. There's a skill book. Our first skill book, Carpenter's Book, increases the speed at which wooden objects are made. We don't have uh, any wooden objects to make quite yet. But that's just fine. Um, dang. Dang, dang, dang. I want to build a fucking... A house as quickly as possible. Night is coming. You can see the uh, the sky is getting a bit darker, which makes me sort of nervous. I don't like it too much, but uh, it'll happen. They'll do what they need to do. They're smart little dwarves. Hey, and we got another dwarf as well, so that'll that'll be quite nice. And uh, did I unlock some new crafting stuff? No. It's just all of the stuff that I unlocked before. I probably do want dirt on this uh, hot bar somewhere. Just so I can uh, get it going when I need. And uh, how much resin do we have? Yes, I've got enough to make some basic illumination. How's that? Yeah! Did it up. So we've unlocked iron working now. Uh, I still need more tools, but we can almost get into basic construction which is what I need to make my house. And uh, furniture also has the bed, which will recover the dwarf's health. So I'm going to need that pretty shortly as well. But we got another uh, another population, another little fella joining us. I probably should make some uh, clubs, just because I know these fucking guys are going to come. And I'm going to regret not having uh, everybody armed. Kane is my new guy. I'm gonna call him Kanye. <laughs> Yay! Good for you, Kanye! You're doing such a great thing. Okay. So, uh, it seems we're getting everything chopped down as it needs to be. That portal is serving its purpose, at least for a little while longer. And I got plenty of mana as well. I should build another portal, I think. Um, but it's not 
it's not completely necessary, I think. I would really like to get some uh, axes going, that's what I should do. We need some axes, how's this? We can build three of them for my three population, and that'll uh, come in quite handy. Speed things up considerably. Hooray! So now we can make uh, some basic furnishings. We've got basic cooking. Oh no. Cooking's unlocked. Why, why is it still uh, locked? Research previous technologies. I guess ironworking is what they're talking about. There, maybe. Hmm, curious. Um, let's see, all this ironworking stuff. I can make a pot. Well, first I gotta find some iron, and I can make a pot. Magic light. Ooh, bed of leaves. I think this would come in quite handy. I can only make one bed at the moment, but uh, it's gonna be needed, I'm sure. My dwarves are gonna get tired and hungry before I know it. So, uh, there we go. One bed of leaves. Coming right up. And then I got food for the little fellas. Apples and whatnots. All this goodness. Hmm. I suppose I should, uh, try and fill this all up here. That would be a rather good idea. I need to find some iron ore somewhere. Hmm. Where could that be? Well, nobody really knows. You just gotta start digging, and uh, hopefully it'll go just fine. How about down here? That'll work, and then I can put uh, a hatch in my house. So they'll uh, hopefully not fall down the hole. <laughs> I think that is a thing that happens. And they can also climb on the background. Oh shit. Well, we fucked up the water. Would you, would you do something, you little freak? I guess he's just grabbing stuff. <laughs> good, good. That's what we need from you. Um, and I'll put the bed somewhere. Unable to build a bed of leaves here. Well, knock that shit down. Ah, uh, and there is some iron just there. So uh, I will dig down. There's also some coal, which is going to come in handy. Yes, I like it a lot. Uh-oh. And we've also got zombies. Zombies incoming. Nobody likes that. Are they gonna take a bunch of fall damage? Leap down this hole and fucking screw my dudes up? I guess we'll find out. Yep. They just fall. Okay. Kill him. Kill him dead. Oh my. That guy's gonna lose a heart, like, straight off. Which is not good. I need to place the bed here. And we got another dwarf! And he comes with a pickaxe of his very own. So, uh, let's see. What do I need for these guys? We need a stone axe. Three stone axes. Four stone axes. Mmm, okay. And then, uh, we got a pickaxe for that guy now. So I will do this. Oh, we fucking crafted it already. I just didn't give it to them. That's uh, an important aspect. <laughs> Got to give them the tools to do the right things. Alright, and there's a carpenter's book for when I start to uh, make some things. Hello, welcome to the club, little fellow. Somebody beat this ghost up. Kill him. Kill the ghost. The ghost will uh, basically throw things out of your inventory, which is not good at all. Nobody's gonna like that. Um... Let's do that, and then if he knocks a hole in there and there's no iron behind it, I'll put a magical portal. A portal of goodness! A portal of goodness! Here we go. Now they can carry that back nice and quick. This is going quite well. I think uh, somebody probably needs to sleep. Hmm, what do we have for uh, this new guy? I guess I need to... Uh, Craft him a couple things. Flowy. Alright. I'll craft you a, a stone pickaxe and a regular ass axe. Oh, we need more stone. Damn it. That's unfortunate. Alright, go go take that stone. And there we got more zombies. The night just comes quick around here. But luckily we're uh, able to get some shit relatively quickly. I do want some iron, I do want some coal, 
And there is a lot of it to be had down here. Once I take the background away, I will have to uh, put a ladder so they can climb up and down. They get a little blocked off. Oh, here's another book. Carpentry, again. Well, that's just fine. We found some iron ore, got a stone pickaxe. That's a good thing. Did I craft one? I guess I did. Fart. I need a regular ass axe. Will somebody kill these fucking ghosts? They're throwing my stones everywhere. This is not good. And uh, this dude is getting his ass kicked. It's not good. Come on. The, the zombie's gonna die in the daylight anyways. Where is our house? There is no house. Please go to sleep, little dwarf. Where's our house? We don't have a house! There's no house, goddammit! <laughs> Can't you see? Don't you know? I guess I should, uh, get to work building just a little tiny house. At least something that they can work with. Oh, and he leveled up his mining. The more they do stuff, the more they level. I guess that makes good sense. Uh, we need an axe. Can I craft one of these? Thank you so much. And now this guy's going to be uh, a bit more well-equipped. Good job. Chop down the trees. Kill the snails. Who's that guy that uh, had no health left? Hmm. Is it you? Is it you? It's you. Go rest. God damn it. Gets caught up by a fucking flea. Alright. Low health. Please rest. Where's our house? You're, you're an asshole. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. That you are, in fact, an asshole. Go chop these trees down. There's no time for resting. Don't you understand? We're, we're busy here. Um, I guess I could put the house here somewhere. Take this. And then we'll take all the, uh, the rest of this out. I'll flatten it as much as possible. And, uh, maybe move those ladders. I think that's not a bad idea. But I definitely need to, uh, get some house stuff crafted. Hmm. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, that's right. We need to, uh, do some iron working. So, okay. We'll make some nails. Fifteen nails? That sounds good to me. And, uh, some locks. Ooh, those are expensive to craft. Okay. I'll craft a couple of locks. Not too bad. One, two. Oh, we need a little bit more iron. Darn it. You guys. Why can't you see? Um, I need to put some more dirt here so they can climb up and get that iron on the top. And uh, there seems to be a countdown to the next monster wave. So that's not going to be nice. But I do like that uh, <laughs> I blocked this off. So the water has uh, a place to go. That's rather nice. And uh, we'll get another magical portal going here. That seems like a good idea. Where's our house? You're an asshole. That's where it is. Hmm. Might need to build a ladder on there. Why, why you guys not take portal? Hello? Oh, they just wanted to collect some more leaves. That's fine. You guys do whatever you need to do, all right? I'm gonna get that iron, and then uh, I'll craft one more lock. I do have enough to do it. Oh, I could also do a cooking pot. Yeah, we're probably gonna need a cooking pot for cooking and cooking-related things. Hooray! So, completed the basic iron working. Uh, oh, I need to finish furnishing before I can get into cooking. That's what it is. Well, I can make uh, walls and roofs and wooden doors. So I think this is going to be a good thing. We'll keep on uh, chopping some trees down. And can they control which portal they go in and out? Can I place multiple portals? I think that would be a rather good idea. How's that? Go on. Do the thing now. They're doing the best they can. Uh-oh. Watch out! Watch out for the little, the little tick. I guess it's a, a mite easier than the zombie to take care of. But this guy really needs to fucking rest. I really need to get a house going. 
if I uh, hope for my dwarves not to die. They do respawn after a little while, but um, yeah, you definitely don't want them to die if it can be at all helped. So, okay. Chop down some more trees, and we'll get a little house going for you fellas. Let's see. I got uh, wooden walls, so I can make just a few of these. Mm-hmm. That's going to be real nice. And then uh, I'll check out the the roof and things like that. How many walls do I need? I don't know. Oh. Well, good. I finished that right up. Now we get into advanced iron working. Improved portal, forge. Mm. That is going to be uh, some complicated shit right there. So, let's see. Where is the... Oh, climbing shoes. Smithing apron. Interesting. Hmm, I probably need a door. Here's the roof. I don't know how big my house is going to be, but, uh... Probably as big as I can make it. How's that? 15 spaces? I don't even have 15 spaces available. So, uh, we'll do what we can. And then what else? I need a door. I've got a lock. I've got two locks. So you just take the lock and you surround it with wood, and that makes a door. <laughs> Seems simple enough, I guess. Okay. So now, uh, my little fellas can get to work. We've got some chitin and a club and another little dwarf to add to the population. So, um, I'll probably need to craft something up for him. Let's, let's, let's get to work, fellas. We ain't got time for all this sitting around. Um... Here we go. Build blocks. Probably not this one. There we go. Look at um. Where's our house? You're making it. You are making it, fucko. Don't you know where your house is? Excellent work. So, uh, let's build a roof. How's that? I guess they can climb the wall and uh, get to the roof or something like that. Build some more blocks there. Come on, build. We ain't got time. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. And then I got a bed, which I will uh, place. Place thusly? Hmm. Here you go. Put it, put it down. Yeah. Probably need uh, a couple more beds than that. But for now, it's okay. We're, we're making do. And then uh, a door. Yes, we need a couple of doors. Nighttime is coming, you guys. We have to hurry. Um, okay, I need an axe. And that's it for this fella. My new addition. Ooh, we could make an iron axe. He gets the good axe. We'll probably chop trees even faster. Um, need a forge to craft this item. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I guess stone will work. No, it won't. Damn. Who to thunk it? It's uh, a little more complicated than I thought here. But we're uh, we're making a nice house. Everything's gonna be awesome. You guys are doing great. I think this is a, a bigger wall than I would like, but okay, I will take, and uh, I will have to expand just a little bit. Hmm, where's our house? Fuck you, that's where it is. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Your house is there, just go to sleep. I guess it's raining in my house. Sleep, sleep. He won't sleep. They never listened to me. That guy fell off the fucking wall. Shame on him. Control. Yes. Go bed now. Oh, damn it. Oh, fart and poop. Okay. I release you. <laughs> I release you from your bonds! Once they put that, uh, that bed back, there we go. I put it down. Sleep in beds located inside of a shelter. Well, what the fuck? I'll have to, uh, get the totem out, I think. That's what I'm missing. Here we go. 
This is your shelter. This is your home. Don't you like your home? And that should uh, make a nice shelter, I think. How's that? Complete the shelter by putting a totem in its center. All right. All sides should be covered with doors or hatches. Wonderful. So, uh, where's my... my hurt guy? The guy that's a little hurt, I think, is this fella. You go sleep now. No more talkie time. Alright. Now everybody go get this shit ready. And, uh, I want to build some more dirt here. I'll make a hatch inside the house, I suppose. Just need to expand it. Ooh! A hunter's book. Learn how to catch dinner instead of becoming dinner. Wonderful. So, friends, this has been Craft the World. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope that you will join us for the next time. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a carpentry book of your very own. It's good for Craft the World. It's good for Project Zomboid. It's good for whatever you want. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you'll join us for the next time. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.